Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the Big Blue Shop. We're out here today. The trusty steed at 370,000 miles has decided to throw a shoe. So it's time to get this thing shoed back up. Should have new calipers and a rotor in here and some brake pads. And that should be all I need to get this fixed up. So I uh, don't know this will be an exciting adventure for anybody, but maybe this will help somebody sometime if there's any tricks to this, not that I recall. So let me get this jacked up and the wheel off and see what we got. Okay, so a 10 millimeter Allen removes the bolts on the hub to get the rotor off. And the bearings on here still look good even after all these miles. So they're going back rather than uh, put some cheapos on there that probably wouldn't last as long as the originals. So. The caliper's toast. I'm going to put a new one of those on and replace this brake line with a stainless while we're at it. Since it's got a bunch of years on it, it's probably time to replace it. Uh, those hoses deteriorate with age. So, let me get this pop back together and I'll bring you back. Alright, so put the bolts back every other hole. The other five are where your wheel bolts on from the other side. So, uh, got that done. Now I'm just going to slide this back on and tighten the wheel bearing back up. Uh, just tighten it up snug and then back it off just a pinch so grease can get in there and keep your bearings lube. You don't want them all the way tight. Uh, that'll cause your bearing failures. Well, I've got my Bosch uh, Euro Performance brake pads. I'm trying out on here to see how they do supposed to be increased stopping power and fade resistance we'll find out if it seems any bit different but uh, not a lot to this hubcap drives over the outside of the hub I said just tighten the uh, nut up so there was no play and then backed it off just a pinch and locked the lock nut down on it uh, and that should be good for this got my stainless brake hose installed And the two bolts in here, got the separator springs in to hold the pads back for release so they don't rub on the rotors. Fancy stuff. In America, they don't usually do this. They just let them rub. Uh, this helps keep them from squeaking, though. The brakes are pretty quiet on these cars. You rarely ever hear them squeak. But uh, that's that for this side. So I'll throw the wheel back on and rinse and repeat on the other side and we'll take it for a test drive. Oh yeah, these come uh, coated in Cosmoline so you need to take brake parts cleaner and clean all the oil and grease off of them before you put them on and get it all over your pads. So I did that too, but just in case somebody's watching this that doesn't know, be sure you do that. Bailey coming to check the job. Looks good, doesn't it, Bailey? Anyway, let's see if I can do this side a little faster.
Well, that's gonna wrap this deal up. Now I gotta buy a new hose, looks like. This is only about two years old. Good year, supposed to be good made in USA hose, but uh, it's blown out. And I said it's only probably two years old. And it hasn't been kept out in the sun, so that shouldn't really be an issue. And I don't run over it in the shop. I usually pick it up before I move anything, so. Looks like it's not cramped on very good, like it's trying to blow the cramp off, but who knows. Anyway, there's something else to buy. Let's take this thing for a test drive and see how it does. So what we need to do now is to burnish the brakes. Uh, by doing that, you run them up to like 45 miles an hour and then do a firm, aggressive stop on them. And you do that that varies depending on the brakes, what they call for. I like to do it 10 to 20 times usually at least. Uh, that's probably the bare minimum. You could do it up to 50 depending on the brakes. So I've already done it a few times, got these good and warmed up. So I'm gonna let them cool off. We'll drive this little piece here and then I'll do it again. Braking may be a little better than it was. Of course, it could have been just because the brakes were shot, but. Brakes warmed up, I can smell them. just exactly what you all are looking at because I'm not watching the viewfinder. Well, I'm satisfied with the results. The brakes work pretty good. Uh, I'd say it's good or maybe better than they ever have. Uh, the pedal feels, seems like maybe these brakes are a bit more aggressive, so I think I'm gonna like the Bosch material. Just have to see how it does over time. It's quiet, so can't complain about that. Don't have any squeaking. So I think it'll work. Hopefully this will help some people out. If you've got one of these old Mercedes 123s, uh, it's not too hard to work on. They're pretty simple as far as doing this kind of maintenance work. It's one of the reasons why I have these because they're usually not a big fight to work on them. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.